everyone and welcome to today's video for this week i will be planning for october the 16th to the 22nd and before we continue i will show you last week's spread which is using this kit from gp sticker studio i will leave a link to the video up on the screen but um it is currently saturday when i'm planning this out so i'm going to get started the kit that i'm using for this week is from sweet fox papery and this is the midnight marble kit and for this one i went with the full deluxe kit so this has everything that the kit comes with and i'm really excited i haven't seen this sort of color scheme for a um halloween kit before so i'm really excited to get into it and everything so i'm just going to take out the stuff that i need and continue um this plan with me will be same situation as last week's one I will be talking through because I do have a reason to why I am talking through um, these few plan with me instead of doing a voiceover but I'm trying to get myself into a habit of just being able to do work um, and everything so when I pre-planned out last week's spread, it ended up working out pretty okay um, and everything. I did end up, there was some like personal stuff that came up, so everything just got pushed back. But besides that, um, the whole sort of just pre-planning everything just worked out really well for me. Um, and so I am doing it again for this week and I'm just going to continue doing it until I can get into a sort of rhythm of being able to just do work um, and stuff so yeah this these date covers are a little bit wider than the actual Like, um, width of the Erin Condren box. But yes, we are using date covers for this week. I don't always use date covers. Um, sometimes it it's a nice thing to add, but most of the times I'm not really too fast if there is date covers or not. But I thought these date covers were pretty cute, so I wanted to add them in. But yeah. Um, so let me know how you guys like feel about these plan with me just for the time being um i will be going back to doing voiceovers but just for the time being i will be doing a pre-plan um spread and just seeing how that works from there and everything so it's always fun to experiment and I feel like when you plan with stickers, when you put something down, it feels more like a commitment. And so that is what I am hoping will happen if I pre-plan out my days. I'm not putting stuff in that I know is just unattainable, if that makes sense. So I'm not over... Oh yeah, the date covers match, I don't need to cover those. But I'm not putting in more work than what I can actually fit, like realistically do and everything so i have the week planned out and we shall see how this goes i think i don't know where to put down the uh, dates i think i'll put them like right here maybe i don't know let's see but yeah. so let me know how you guys feel about these plan with me's they won't always be this way up will end up going back to the voiceovers eventually but just to get myself into the sort of habit of just doing work consistently um and everything i'm just going to um do it like this so moving on to the sidebar i'm hoping also this video isn't as long as it was for last week i am not used to this style of planning so we'll see how this goes this kit doesn't have any little things, so I have pulled in stickers, like functional stickers, from my collection that I think will work. 
well with the colors in the kit and everything so I have that off to the side I also like pulled out stickers that I think will work with the kit um, and stuff for this oh, totally put the wrong one down um, I put out like little decorative stickers and like character stickers and icon stickers that I think will work with this kit and I have that also off to the side because normally when I plan I just go with the flow um, am I recording? yes but normally when I plan like the other way it is just going with the flow I just do whatever I feel like doing I don't really have like stickers pulled out I normally just have the kit out and everything and I don't have like other little stickers like yeah let me, let me show you like these are all of like stickers that I've pulled out that I think will work well with whatever I want to do for this week and not have it take up too much time while filming this way because I am talking in real time and I am working with the sort of limit of the SD card and I don't want this video to be like an hour long when I was filming there's a lot of black down here oh well we'll just go with it but um, when I was filming the other way, I sort of just went with it and just did whatever. And so sometimes I would have like long periods of break between like certain clips. And I don't really want to do that with these videos. So we'll just see how this goes. I think I'll take these bottom two. Pull in some of the blue shade. Because it's pretty black heavy right now. I have this week pre-planned, I, because there was some unexpected stuff that came up last week, um, everything just got pushed back a little bit, and everything, so, I am uh, working on Christmas release for this week, I will be putting those up on Friday for sure, because I have been working my butt off just trying to get everything sorted, I should have that ready to go by Friday. I just need to finish off the kits and then I should be good but I feel like bad in a way because I was supposed to get them up last week but I haven't because stuff came up and it's just annoying and I'm just work I'm doing the best that I can I'm trying not to push myself too much yeah, this is right um, I'm trying not to push myself too much because I know how that ended. I know that what the result of pushing yourself is. Um, and it's not too good in, for me, at least. So, um, there is still a lot of time for Christmas to come, but I want to get these up by the 20th. So, if you are interested in that, either follow Instagram or join the Facebook group because I will be posting updates and stuff throughout the week once... I get all of the details sorted but um that is that or instagram as well because i will be posting stuff there but yeah um that aside let's see what else there is i can talk about while i do these boring things oh yes um these videos will be filmed in this own way let me know how you prefer this setup to be do you prefer it like zoomed in or do you prefer it like zoomed out and kept in that sort of one frame or zoomed in like this because I have no clue I really like the designs of these, they're really cute and also with the kit from Sweet Fox Papery I have used one of her kits in the past and I really enjoyed using that kit and also the other thing is this, even though it doesn't come with little things, it's not too big of a deal for me because I do have a lot of other stickers that I can pull in. And the other thing is I don't really use little things for their purpose, I tend to just use them as labels. Um, so I am not fussed by that since I have a whole bunch of other stickers I can pull in. That is the checklist done and everything looks straight. So that is the checklist sheet. Instead of pulling in the today headers, um, I am going to pull in these gold glitter headers that I received as a sampler. Um, 
I wouldn't mind using the like headers I say today but I do want to also use this in my memory planner and I don't want it to feel too like color blocked if that makes sense so I am pulling in that and also we have the yellow date covers and there's not a lot of yellow anywhere else in the kit so I thought it would be a nice way to incorporate a bit of yellow into the spread. This plan with me, I think will be going up not the week that I am planning for, the following week, so the 24th. So by this time you would have seen that I uploaded on Tuesday, which is you know the day that I tend to prefer to upload um, my October bullet journal video, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can that up, but um, I was having a lot of audio issues with that, so even though it's going up a lot later and like it's already halfway into the month, hopefully it's still okay. Um, that is, I think the basics pretty much done. There is no weekend banner in the kit, but I have... A lot sort of going on and there is this Halloween banner that I think is supposed to replace the weekend banner but I don't want to use it because it's not technically Halloween yet although I totally could put that there because that was where I was planning on putting it but I probably won't but I, I feel like doing it anyway so I'm going to do it no, I think I'll use it no yes yes I'm going to use it that looks cute. I've actually am um, so excited to be using this kit because I've been holding on to it for quite a while now and so it's just exciting to finally get to use it. I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill out my sidebar and then also there's some things in my checklist that I want to put down right now so I can cross that off my little pre-plan thing that I have next to me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The pen that I'm using is the Muji Black Gel Ink Pen. Um, it is in the barrel that looks like this. The ink is pretty much the same across all of the pens. It's just the like barrel style is different. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, then be right back. Okay, so that is the checklist stuff filled out. I've gone through and put down wake up and bedtime because I want to try and get myself into a more stable routine. So that is why. Anyways, I'm going to start working on Monday. I think I'm going to keep it at this like zoomed out um, one. So I'm going to get started. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Um, so. And I'm going to sort of keep this in the same format as last video, which is filling everything out and then, sorry, putting everything down and then filling everything out at the end. So, um, first thing that I want to do on Monday is plan out my bullet journal for the week. So, for that, I'm going to take a piece of thicker washi and put this down and then layer it, layer over that this time to plan a sticker from Pop Mix Design. I believe she does have full sheets of this sticker so I'm going to put this down at the very beginning and I am going to be working in chronological order that is the hope um, so I'm going to put that there in the middle and after that I want to work on finishing up any open orders and then also going and shipping those out so I'm going to use this tabby from Tamashi Prince even though um she's she has a box there and what i do with stickers um i want to use these so i'm going to use it from this sheet and that is for orders and after that i think i'm going to take a full box and put this down underneath just to fill in some of the space because i want to work on finishing up the christmas kit that i'm working on and since I do design everything myself, um, it takes a little bit longer for me to finish. But I am almost done, which is good. So I need to put that down for that. And because this kit comes with quite a bit of deco, I want to try and use as much of the deco as I can. So I'm going to take the pumpkin sticker from this sheet and use that for 
um, design day. And then the last thing that I can fit into this space here is just to finalize the video that will be going up on Tuesday, which will be the bullet journal video. So, and because, um, I don't like that spacing too much, I'm going to just put everything down and shift it around a little bit. Then I'm going to take this laptop sticker from this sheet, which is from my store, and then I'm just going to layer that over the, like, little blue bit over there and that will be to finalize working on the video all right so moving on to tuesday tuesday is payday so i want to use this little money sticker from the sheet from the sheet from that planner girl and i think it might be a little bit too small for this checklist so instead Sort of want to use a flag. Let's see. But then I feel like a flag takes up a little bit too much space. So I don't want to do that because it's not really like a huge thing to mark. So I'll take this little thing, one of the few little things that she has in the um, kit, and put this right up at the top here and try to get it on properly. So that will be here and then i will cover up the icon with the sticker so i want to mark the plan with me that will be going up but i don't want to put in like one of the thicker labels that are here and everything so i found these little things from a old kit from planet gems and the dark blue doesn't completely match but it matches sort of well enough that i would like to use it so um, this will be for the plan with me and it doesn't really matter what I take because I'm going to cover up the icon anyways. I'm going to pull out this one here um, and put this to cover up the um, utensil sticker that I had over there. So that is for the plan with me or um, sorry bullet journal setup. And then I will be pretty much spending Tuesday working and designing so i either feel like taking this one or this one Let's see i think i'll take this one so i'll put this underneath like that and that looks really cute so um for that one i will just write in design session over there i also want to take some time on tuesday to read a little bit so i'm um, pulling from this school sampler sheet again i'm going to take this little book sticker and then for this one i will use a flag because reading can take up a little bit of time um so either i might put it like this no all right i'm going to layer it like that and that will be for reading for this bottom section over here Instead of taking a, um, what, what do you call it, label sticker from the kit, because this kit doesn't really come with any, like, third label type of stickers, instead, I'm going to take down, I'm sorry, put down two strips of washi, and make sure it's straight. And then I am going to take one of these label stickers from Planning Roses. I have used up all the black, so I thought this sort of, it's like a really dark blue, almost dark grey shade. So I'm going to take that and layer it on top because I need to test out some of the designs to see how everything looks and everything so that is what I'm going to put down here and then to sort of put something down for there I'm going to take one of these Halloween sheepies which is from my store I think I'll take this one because it looks like it's plotting something evil um, 
So I'm going to put this down there. And that looks cute. So now moving on to Wednesday. For me, Wednesdays are flow over days from Monday and Tuesday. Whatever I haven't got a chance to finish, I will finish on Wednesday. So for that, um, I think I'll take a half box with... I feel like I should be using some of the, like, deco in this kit, so... Ooh, I could put it up at the top, so... I'll take this half box and this will be finishing up any outstanding work from the previous two days and I'm going to put this up here at the top like that. Then after that I need to begin working on a few sketches so I'm going to put down another little thing from the planner gems um, sheet and then I'm going to take this little pencil cup sticker from um, the pl that planner girl um, icons and put that down for that and I'm just gonna move it down here to the bottom for like a minute and I'm gonna take a appointment label and see I'm gonna put this down this way and I think I might take it to the very bottom like that and then I am going to take a icon sticker and I think I will take this owl from here <laughs> it's really cute what she um did with the icons here um instead of like actual like stuff it's um like little spooky things so that's really cute um this will be a deadline for myself for the christmas stuff and that will be for this little box and then i'm gonna take a full box from here um, put this down there, like that. I've been debating on whether to cover up this part or not because I do want to mark down just designing in general and everything, so I feel like I probably should. Probably should. Oh well, it's stuck so we have to go with it. Um, so that will be there. And then I want to put something decorative along this side. Anyways, that is Monday to Wednesday done. So I'm going to move on to the second half of the week. So now moving on to Thursday. First thing I'm going to put down that it is Diwali. My like immediate family, so like myself, my mum, my dad and my sister, we don't really celebrate it because um, we're not Hindu, but my the rest of my like extended family and everything is, so I tend to mark that down because normally we go around and visit them and stuff, so that will be for Diwali. Um, and then this will be for reading because I want to read a little bit, start the day off a little bit differently on Thursday, so I'm going to start it off by reading. So I'm going to take another book sticker from the school sampler sheet from my store and put this down here like that. I will also probably need to repaint my nails by that time, so I'm going to take this nail polish sticker which is from my store and put this down on the opposite side. I think I will take a um, flag sticker for this one. So I'm going to put it this way and then put that down like that. Then after that I'm going to take a piece of washi and put this down here and layer a little thing over that because I want to put down a little thing from the uh, planner gems sheet but I have so much blue going on that I don't really want to so I'm going to put this down there although there was a black little thing there it doesn't matter um, so this will be just to finalize the listings and stuff I think actually what I'm going to do is layer this three heart checklist underneath this 
um, just to fill up some of the space because I'm not using a full box here. And this will be like specific things that I have to do to finish the um, stuff for the release. So I'm just going to wipe this out and put this back down underneath. But yeah, um, even though my family, we don't really celebrate it, um, we still go around and visit our family that do. And one of our relatives has invited us, invited us over for dinner, so we will be going. And I will put this at the bottom like that. I feel like I should probably shift everything down a little bit. nice things about planning this way though is the fact that I don't have to worry about writing out a lot of stuff um, because I can adjust the spacing before I have to go write in otherwise you know before I would just write it out as I went um, but moving on to Friday now because that is all I can fill out for Thursday actually not before I forget um, I'm going to take this happy ghosty sheepy I don't really have anything nice that I could mark that down with, so in the spirit of Halloween right now, we're going to go with a little ghosty. Um, so anyways, now moving over to Friday. Um, for Friday, I am going to be pretty much working in the morning just to finalize all of the like release stuff details and everything. So for that, I'm just going to take a half box and put this up at the top I think, I think I'll take this one here let's see never mind too big it's way too big um instead I think I'll take the ghost instead put that like that that will be for finalizing everything relating to the Christmas release. And then I'm going to work backwards um, just for here. I think I will take this little, sorry, um, appointment label with two strips of washi. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Um... Even though I will end up covering a little bit of it, it will sort of just be for like background filling up space purposes. So put it like that. This will be the designated space for this sticker. I'll leave this off to the side just for the time being. I want to do a little bit more reading on Friday. So I'm going to take this sticker put this down there, like there, so I'll put this one here, so, um, that is for reading, this is for movie night, and then I have the, uh, like actual release for, like a Christmas release, so let's see, I think, I don't really want to do that though, never mind, I don't want to do that. I'm going to put this sticker down over underneath, this way. And then I have the, uh, these Etsy icon stickers from Tamashi prints to put down so I'm going to put this one here and then also I remembered because I changed my mind while I was putting stuff down that I decided to upload the plan with me that you are watching right now on Friday so because I want to do that I did I just thought it, it would be really strange um, how the plan with me would end up working out so for this week I will be doing two uploads but just put these back down again I'm gonna put that there 
and then I don't think I have any colors from this sheet that would go nicely with um, this bread but the other sticker that I have for videos is this one here which is red and it totally stands out and I don't really want to use this no 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 we have a little film clapper we have a film clapper I think I'll use the film clapper instead because it's more like YouTube-y also even the little camera thing I think I'll take this one and put this here because it's more YouTube sort of looking than that anyways so that is for this plan with me um, this is for finalizing new releases um, this is for Christmas release reading movie um, so for movie night I think I will take this blue popcorn sticker from that planner girl to use I'm going to put this here and then in this space I will fill this up with some washi so that will look like that and because I have some space I'm just going to shift this one down a little bit like that yes I like that more um, and then here I want to, if everything goes according to plan, um, I need to work on the new set of releases that will be coming up soon. So for that, um, I'm going to take off this middle piece here because I do have a memory planner that I could use that in. So I'll put that there. And then I'm going to replace it with this um, planning, planning Roses label sticker, like that. And then, I think I'll take this ghost sticker from that planner girl. Um, I got this last year and I still have a whole bunch of them left. So I thought it would be a good chance to use those for this week. Um, or for the spread since it's now Halloween. So that will be for working on the next lot of new releases. That was like total word vomit there, I'm so sorry. <laughs> So now moving over to the weekend, there is this sort of double box type of sticker and I don't know if I want to use it or not because I totally could but I also don't really want to. <laughs> the pain of wanting to use it but you don't know. I think I might and I'll put it across the top for the weekend. Yeah. Or should I bring it down a little bit? What I'll do first, before I get ahead of myself, um, white out these headers over here. Oopsies. Um, I do have the new Erin Condren's now, and one thing I'm looking forward to is not having these headers. Even though when I first saw them, I was a little bit like, <laughs> why would you do that? Looks strange. But the more I've been sort of experimenting with them, um, like with like mock spreads and like testing out stickers and stuff and slowly I realised that it's actually, for me at least, I feel like it's a pretty nice change because you don't really have to worry about headers anymore because even if you leave them blank, like the dots blank, it still looks okay, the spread, like it still looks really nice and everything, so, um, so that's a tangent of its own anyways on to Saturday I think what I'll do because I have used the um, double box I might either write on top of it when I am going to put stuff down or I could make a flag type of sticker which I am totally going to do because I miss doing this I'm going to take this meal little thing and I'm going to take my scissors because Saturday is normally like a catch up day for me um, it is the because for the weekend um, Sundays I am trying to make it my day off and just a day where I don't have to force myself to do anything and stuff like that so I try to get all of that stuff done on Saturday because it's like the one day of the weekend where you can 
direction I'm going to do it the other way. Um, for me, it's like the day where you can catch up on stuff. It's not really the end of the week yet. And it's sort of like a free day. And for this week, I'm not going out anywhere. Um, so it's the perfect day just to do a catch up day. So that is what this will be for. I think I might just go with this house icon. That there for catch up day. I want to try and update my memory planner because I have a few sprints that are not completely filled out. So for that I'm going to take this planner sticker from Fox and Cactus and put that down there in the white space. I'm going to put down a little thing label with the TV icon on for Saturday and I think I might put it on for Sunday too. And this will be for a new sort of variety show sort of thing that I my sister introduced me to. If you are into like K-pop or like just Korean entertainment, um, Men on a Mission, or I think she said it's called Knowing Brothers, um, she introduced that to me. So I will be watching that over the weekend. So that is what these two will be for. Then I'm going to take a half box and put this over here. And this box will be for two things, and it's totally crooked, oh my god. Um, I want to work on orders, and then also draw for myself. Um, you know, the big sketchbook that I mentioned in the last video, so I'm still working on that. Um, so I want to try and do that. I think I might put orders up in the checklist section, and then put draw in this area over here. I will take a deco sticker and put this like that and this will be for drawing and then the rest of the stuff that I had for Saturday will go up in the checklist and then for Sunday um, Sunday basically I've put down is get yourself together day um, catch up on anything I need to get caught up on uh, I need to change my sheets and stuff like that, so I want to do that. So I don't know how I'm going to put this down though, because it's a bit of a strange one to put down. So I think I'll take another little thing. Um, this is, I think, the um, personal planner size, but I had it, so I'm using it. I'm going to put this up here. Actually, no, I'm going to put it this way. Like that. Then I'm going to take. Let's see. I did pull this one out, and then I also pulled out this sheet. And I think. I think I'm going to use the vacuum sticker. Little vacuum sheepy. I would use the bed one, but I don't want to bring in too much of other colors, so I'm going to use the vacuum one. Then I'm going to take the last appointment label and put this over here on underneath it. And it's totally crooked again. So I'm just going to fix this quickly. I'm on top of this part of the box, I'm going to take one of these girls from Fox and Cactus. And this will be to mark down family time and just playing Citus, which is a rhythm game, and then just relaxing and stuff on Sunday. And then just to fill in that bit of space, because I don't really have anything else to put down, um, I'm going to take this icon sticker that has a moon with some clouds on it. So I'm going to put this over here. Like that. And this will be sort of just to put down that it will be a relaxing night and everything. So I think that is about it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out everything and then zoom out and then show you what the final spread looks like.
So this is the final spread all complete and filled out. It looks very full and is pretty much done. Um, there's a few areas that are blank which I will fill out as the week goes on. But this is pretty much how my week is going to be looking like. Um, I used the black Muji gel pen that I showed at the be beginning of the video. And then I also pulled in these two white pens from um, Uniball. Uh, these are the Uniball Signo white pens and this is the sort of more finer tip and this is the broad tip so i pulled those in and i will show you the stickers that i have left from the kit i have used a quite a good amount so this is the add-on sheet um the next sheet i still have a few stickers left i don't really have too much so the amount that I have left will be perfect in my memory planner because I plan a lot differently in there than I do in this planner here. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this spread down below and also this video format and all of that good stuff. So I hope you all have a wonderful day or night and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!